Hey guys, my name is Stephen, this is Cara. Welcome to series where I teach you how to build a Discord or pop up for your server. Today we are talking about countering swearing in the server. Uh, so let's get into it. I said in the previous episode that I was going to be doing countering spam as well. We're actually going to do that a few episodes down the line because I've kind of realised that my plan is a bit wrong and I actually need to merge two episodes into one. So we're just going to do swearing for this one. Uh, spam will come in episode 25. Awesome. Uh, when we're talking about uh, kicking, banning, and muting members automatically, because uh, our spam will be our use case for that. But we're just going to talk about this for now. Um, so we're coming into our mod cog, and we need to from better profanity import profanity. If you don't recognise that, it's because I may or may not have forgot to tell you to import that at the start of the series. So we need to go into our CMD, and we need to pip install better profanity like so and it will actually install for you um, and what's uh, good about this is that we can actually store our uh, our swear words or curse words in a file uh, which we can access simply by doing profanity because it's a completely global object dot load curse words uh, from file and then just passing a the file name here. So we're going to have ours in a there. So we actually need to create that file. So we go here, new file, create one called profanity.txt. And I wonder this bot is actually probably running a course that's going to have far harsher swear words than this. But because this is YouTube, we are going to use our classic poo, bum, and you are bad. Because um, those, re those are the really bad ones. You, you don't want to mess with them. Um, and I also don't want YouTube to kick me off the platform. Because um, knowing them, there, there's, a, there's a chance. Um, <clears throat> so what we can do is we can come down here and we can actually look uh, at the message itself. So we can do cog.listener listener, async def on message uh, self and then the message. If not message to author dot bot. Um, we can do if uh, profanity dot um, I think it's contains profanity I'm pretty sure uh, and then message dot content await uh, message dot delete and then await message dot channel dot send uh, you can't use that word here. Uh, so this system will look through our list and check if it contains one of the options. It does also, the reason we're using this um, library is it does also detect other patterns. So for example, poo will, will count as that as well. So both of these will actually count um, because this is that's clearly what it's trying to say. If we had, say, um, Oh, what what are the other ones? I've already forgotten. Uh, you are bad. That works. So if you do, you four are bad. I mean, no one's really actually going to do that, but um, <clears throat> it will do that as well. So it it matches patterns as well, and you can do phrases too. Uh, you just need every new word needs to be on a new line. Um, so if we go into our bot now. And we run it, we get a, a attribution error or attribute error. Oh, curse words from file. Is that not? I could have sworn that was the the name of the thing. Is it not? Have I load sensor words from file? It's not good. It's the sensor words. Um, me gotta go stop again. Uh, load sensor words from file. There you go. Um, we don't need to come off for actually, do we? So if you type in poo, I'd be like, yeah, delete the message. Like, you can't use that word here. Do that again. Can't use that word. These logs are just saying that messages got deleted and stuff. Um, the bum. I don't actually know what other. Like, so if we do actually, if we do, if we do that example from before, it'll. You can't use that word. Word or phrase, perhaps, would be better. Um, stated. But that, yeah, it's a, actually a really, really simple system to get rid of profanity. But 
Um, we don't want to be lost in the last series. In the last series, we had a list of words that you couldn't append to or remove from on the fly. This series is different. This series is marginally better than that. <laughs> I say marginally better because these uh, mod uh, videos haven't gone quite according to plan for uh, for some of them, but never mind. Um, it's the design as a guide, all right. Shut up. <laughs> Um, so we can do add, we could do add profanity, and we could also do aliases, add swears, and add curses, like um, and we should really be able to manage the server, I feel. Ask permissions, manage uh, guild. Because I was genuinely going for managed server again, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, the bot doesn't need any permissions, it just needs to load a file. So async def add <coughs> profanity self.ctx, and we need to pass in words. Uh, now, for some reason, this doesn't work quite as you expect. It passes in everything. Okay, well, it's either that, it's either that doesn't work quite as you expect, or file.write lines doesn't work quite as you expect. Um, but either way, we need to do with open. You'll see what I mean in a second. Uh, data slash profanity .txt. I know there's an asynchronous way of doing this. If you're interested, look it up. It's called AIO files. Um, we're just kind of focusing more on the basics because Discord.py rather than everything around it. Um, <clears throat> that is also something we need to pick and pull. And then we need to um, append. So we need the A flag. And then encoding equals UTF. You don't really need this, um, but it's just better if you have it. Um, on on Linux, you genuinely don't need this, but on Windows, the encoding default is not UTF-8, and that's problematic. So I always make sure to uh, to specify. And we just write that as F. <clears throat> now we do F dot write. Now this is a somewhat weird syntax. We do an empty string dot join um, a a list of a string of that um, for w in words. Uh, so what this will do, we actually need this uh, new line character at the end uh, so it can add stuff to it. Um, otherwise it'll just add it to the end of the line here. Um, <clears throat> so what this will do is it'll just append a series of strings that are the word and the new line character to the string and then just write it to the file. Um, and then it automatically close um, because that's what with open does. It's the context manager. Woo! And then we can do action complete. And to get rid of words, uh, it's more or less the same uh, thing, just a little bit different. Um, so we could do remove profanity, I guess. Now, all we could do, oh no, del, oh no, delete profanity. Uh, aliases equals. Uh, Dell swears uh, or Dell curses. Oops. Uh, and then, of course, we want the member to have managed to get permissions to do that. Uh, async def remove profanity. Uh, fuck, it's spell. No, I did spell it right. And then. We need well, um, uh, these can take phrases as well. By the way, if you surround an argument in quotes, it will take it as a single word or a single argument. With open, so we need to do. We actually need to copy this line straight up, more or less. Um, but in stored, which we've got to uh, define a second. If w not in oh my goodness, <laughs> if w not in words, and then with I've been talking for far too long, dude. Uh, no, we need to end it over again. So we need to now read this as we need to open the file twice, which is a bit annoying. Um, I can't seem to find a way to do this all in one operation, which is really irritating. But never mind. Uh, read lines. So we have our oh, system here. Uh, the good thing about Sublime is that when you actually uh, switch tabs, it actually reloads the file, uh, which is kind of nice. So we could do add profanity. So if you wanted to do, I don't know, YOLO, LOL, and um, what's up, dude, for example, we can do that. Actually complete, and as you can see, YOLO, LOL, and what's up, dude are now in here. So now if we say LOL, 
I've shut the bot down, haven't I? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. Why is it not loaded? <laughs> Hello? Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's something I forgot to do. Uh, we actually need... When we add profanity... Or when we remove it, either. We need to actually reload the thing back in. So we need to reload... Uh, set of us from file? Sure, why the hell not? <laughs> Probably not the, ex the exact most efficient way of doing it, but it works for me. And then... We can actually... Just reload everything again from here, and then away. I mean, it's, it's quick enough. You're not going to be doing it that often. Um, I don't know, maybe you can think of a better way of doing it. So we actually have... So we still have our words here. So if I do... There we go. Lol, it works. Um, if we do... Oops, remove profanity. So I've decided that... <clears throat> Lol, YOLO, and yo -yo, uh, YOLO, and was up, dude, are actually kind of okay. Um, we do that. <laughs> the bot will actually get rid of the thing, but it should still work. Uh, or it just won't work at all. Unless I got the command. Oh, I got the command wrong. <laughs> Del profanity. Uh, lol, YOLO, and. What that dude? So actually, complete it. It will delete the message because it, it thinks it's a bad word. But as you can see, it completely breaks. <laughs> what the hell happened there? That worked before. Why? What? Okay, hang on. I've I've done something drastically wrong here. Um, if W not in work, that should just work. <laughs> Oh, I've opened it as a pen. I haven't changed it to, to, to truncate. Whoops. <laughs> um, I don't know why it was getting like a ton of new line characters there. Oh, I think I might know why. Oh, I don't actually know why. <laughs> Hang on, what, what the hell did I just cut? Oh god, I cut something. I knew, okay, I don't know. Um, I've actually realised something that I've forgotten to do. That some, I think I forgot to do it anyway. Yeah, I have. Uh, it's dot for uh, w dot strip, and then we need. That should be it. Oh no! Wait! 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 wait. W. Yeah. Oh, it's here. W dot strip. My words. Um. Oh no, we actually do need a uh, stored. Uh, w dot strip for w in read line because it, it keeps the new line character. Um, so we just need to strip that away using strip. That'll automatically just get rid of stuff like that. Um, and now we do del. Oh, I can't be asked to write the whole thing again. Curses. Uh, lol yo yo and what's up, dude? I keep saying yo yo. What's up, dude? Oh, actually okay, uh, actually complete. It didn't even get rid of the curse words, interestingly enough. Um, so yeah, that actually that works. So if we decide that, if we decide that, poo, I'm just gonna 100% make sure that everything works. If you want to get rid of poo, then oh, it doesn't actually get rid of the of the word. That's interesting. <laughs> does it still does it still combat against them? It actually does, huh? That's really interesting. Um, it obviously it obviously processes the command before it has the chance to to check this. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, our list is now down to two. So if we want to add poo back, we can uh, uh, add curses poo, and then whoa 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 whoa! What the hell happened there? That just Wait. <laughs> I I'm actually not sure. Oh, because we're not are we not reloading it properly? No, we are definitely reloading it properly. Oh, that just seemed to this seems to be or did that just look weird to anyone? Hang on. Add curses um uh 
Oh, does it do it? <laughs> oh, I think it's just like the way it the way it works. Yeah, it's just the, the the order in which everything is fired. It adds it and then it checks it. Um, that was interesting, actually. Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of funny, to be honest. Um, it might be worth like. I don't know. I'll leave. I'll leave that. As, it, uh, the system works. Um, I'll leave that as as homework for you to potentially fix that little issue there, because it's it's a really minor issue. Um, so it's not really a problem. So that'll do it for this video. Uh, if you like the video, then say hello down below. Um, if you have any questions, then feel free to uh, leave them down below as well. Or you can ask them in a Discord server, which you can join using the link in the description. If you really like the video, then consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. And if you really, really like the video, then consider supporting me on Patreon. Of course, you don't have to, but it'd be really cool of you to do. Next time, we're talking about removing links and images from chat channels where they shouldn't be. Um, so I'll see you for that.